more than five days. hitting Northern California yesterday morning, a magnitude 5.4, that's a preliminary magnitude quake, struck an area known as Rio Dell in Humboldt County. to safety and away from floodwaters at Fossil Down Station near Fitzroy Crossing. But for others, boats were the only way to escape their water-filled communities.
casa se vino a la casa. Oh. Se fue a la casa. Ay, hijo de madre. Oh. Ay, Dios mío. Oh. Sí, completico, mi coronel. Oh, esa cosa nueva, bro. Esa casa nueva es Y ahí ya se va a esa otra casita de ahí, ¿verdad? Ahí ya está yendo, ¿verdad? Ahí se va de una vez. Se fue a la otra. Se fue a la otra construcción. This roadway in Montecito turned into a muddy river. Highway 101 in Gilroy engulfed. In Chatsworth, two people rescued from a giant sinkhole and taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The massive tornado that hit Selma, Alabama was likely on the ground for at least 50 miles, lofting debris into the air to about 10,000 to 15,000 feet and leaving a trail of destruction through seven counties across the state. Mas aqui só lixaiada, misericórdia, Jesus, misericórdia, olha lá, tá chegando. The Department of Natural Resources is investigating how a humpback whale died on Assateague Island. The whale's body washed up along the shoreline Monday morning. There are no obvious signs of cause of death, but once its necropsy is finished, the DNR will move its body to the dunes. A whale that was spotted in Osaka Bay on January 9th would seen again on January 10th. The whale is likely to be a young sperm whale that drifted into the area.
Thousands of people across Hungary have been left misplaced after heavy rain led to severe flooding. Major roadways are closed as rivers along the country's border with Slovakia inundate low-lying villages. In Poland, nearly 300,000 people are without electricity as heavy snow wrecks havoc. Poor road conditions, especially in the south, have caused several fatal accidents, with falling snow also leading to train delays. Further south in rural parts of Albania, heavy rainfall and unusually warm weather has flooded houses and forced residents to evacuate. On Friday, the city was hit with a whole summer's worth of rain falling in just 24 hours. Residents wading chest deep to safety. The waterlogged slope gave way as the deluge that hit Auckland moved further south. 24 homes had to be evacuated. Somehow everyone escaped injury. Landslips are now a danger across much of the North Island. This one in Auckland claimed homes and a life.
are responding to a dead whale at Lightgate Beach on Kauai. According to the DLNR, the sperm whale washed ashore this morning after first being seen on the reef last night. The DLNR says 56-foot-long, 60-ton carcass will be examined by the UH scientists on site before it's removed from the beach. Look how it is. It's a carreter that goes down. Heavy rain on Molokai over the weekend, creating raging rivers in residents' yards. For these Kapa'a Kea residents, it was a race against heavy rain and flooding to save their belongings. Is that the puppy? Is that the puppy? The National Weather Service says these types of systems aren't uncommon, but it is rare to see leeward portions of the state get this amount of rain. A recent closure of a major interstate due to a severe storm has left hundreds of truck drivers stranded on the side of the road. The closure, which occurred on January 29th, has resulted in significant delays for deliveries and disrupted supply chains across the country. The guy 